made it to the first spot before I get to Zion. Right behind me, right there, is a volcano. So I'm gonna send the drone up. The weather broke, the clouds broke for a little bit, but I feel some rain, so I've gotta get up, get my photos, and then get back down before I destroy my drone. So let's see what we can get. I just got back in, um, the winds picked up after I got my photos and the drone started going crazy. I was stressing out big time, but I managed to get some good ones and I'm so glad that it stopped raining for like five minutes. I was able to get up and take some shots and then get back down without any issues so far to my drone. So I loaded them on my iPad and I just did some quick edits. Here's one of them. and I'm so unbelievably pumped with how it came out. I've been wanting to get this shot for about a year now and I'm finally here, the conditions were okay and I just had that small window, so fired up at the beginning of this trip and hopefully the rest of it will uh, be just as good. Okay, so back in Zion again. This time the weather is a lot different than it was when we were last here. Got a couple of shots in mind. We're gonna to go to the Watchman Bridge and I just wanna get that classic shot, but I'm, fingers crossed there's gonna be snow along the riverbanks and along the Watchman um, cliff, cliff edges. So fingers crossed we can get some nice contrast with the snow. Okay, so we just finished up at the Watchman Bridge. Um, we did a time lapse first, and uh, it wasn't as good as I expected. There was no real color in the sky. Um, but I did some photos both sides of the bridge. Here's one from facing the Watchman. And here's another one facing the opposite direction. So I'm really happy with these, they came out really well. Even though there wasn't much color in the sky, um, the snow on the Watchman was just such a cool contrast. And then on the other side with the mist on the, mount on the mountain edges, so cool. Really cool, really happy with how they came out.
Okay, we are back at the waterfall again. The thing about photography is, at least for me, you know, it's totally fine to go back to a spot if you don't get the shot. I think that's important to keep up morale. You know, if you don't get that shot, don't feel discouraged. Just write that day off, go back and take it again, you know? Work on the composition, work on the exposure. And the important thing that I'm doing now is I'm exposing more for the highlights. When I was here last time, I really didn't balance the exposure, so my highlights were completely blown out. So this is where we are. And uh, speaking of exposure for the highlights, let me drop this down so that you can actually see. So we're at the course of the Patriarchs and uh, this awesome waterfall. We're gonna wait just a little bit. I'm with uh, JJ and Eric. We're gonna wait just a little bit for that light to go. The sun's gonna dip behind the mountains and we'll hopefully get some really soft light on the water and get some nice long exposures. Okay, so we're back at the bridge again. We got JJ and Eric with their camera gear. And we're here for sunset this time. We were gonna go to the overlook, but the, the parking was absolutely packed. So once again, we're doing a time-lapse again. And we've got the ND grad on. Same as last night to soften out the sky and give a nice balance. So we're doing a time-lapse right now, and then we'll get some photos with the B camera when the uh, light gets a lot nicer and the colors get a lot nicer in the cloud. One, two, three. Sony, did you get a close up of the Sony car? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 